On the sports day, the students were divided into teams that pitted them against one another. In the first event, which was the girls' hurdle race, Hori ran for the East team while Rami was competing for the West team. Since Miyamura and Ishikawa were on the latter team, they naturally cheered. This gave Rami a chance to tease Hori and she did not think twice. Rami told Hori that Miyamura is cheering for her and she plans to win the race to win him over. Although Hori replies that he is just supporting the West team, her words appeared to have bothered her a lot. Since all of this happened at the starting point of the race, Hori could not get the start she would have liked. Rami took full advantage of this fact and outclassed everyone running with her. Eventually, Rami ended up winning which was obviously quite disappointing for Hori. Even though the race had ended, she continued to run as fast as possible as if to leave the disappointment behind. Miyamura was naturally concerned for her and started cheering despite the fact that she has lost the race. This sort of showed how much he cares for her, especially when Hori was not even on the same team as him. Later, she expressed her gratitude for his support. Although Sawada was confident about the tug-of-war event, she sadly failed to win. When it was time for the scavenger hunt race, Miyamura had to replace one of his teammates at the last minute. Interestingly, he ended up competing against Hori. While Miyamura's cue card says that he needs to find someone skinny, Hori is tasked to get the president of the student council. Both of them end up picking Sengoku and finish the race at the same time. The final event on the sports day was the cavalry battle in which one rider sat on top of three other students from his team acting as the horse. The task of the participants was to keep the rider's feet above the ground while he tries to take the headband from the opponent. Interestingly, the challenge put the West team's Miyamura against the East team's Sengoku against one another. Naturally, both were determined to do well and were not going to leave any stone unturned to win the match. West team's Miyamura was quite aggressive from the start and immediately attacked Sengoku to end the battle as fast as he could. However, Sengoku was also prepared for the oncoming attacks as he dodged quite smartly and managed to stay in the competition. But one of Miyamura's teammates felt exhausted and it became evident that he did not have enough strength to continue fighting for long. Therefore, Miyamura knew that he needs to do something soon if he plans to win. All of a sudden he came up with a smart idea. He knows Sengoku really well, and in order to distract him, he asked him about the girl sitting on his shoulder. As he had expected, Sengoku freaked out and turned his head just enough to give Miyamura a window to leap forward. That's when he managed to grab Sengoku's headband and secured the victory for the West team.